Behind the doors of Giga Texas, something is brewing away from the spotlight, and it has the potential to change the global electric car game. For the first time in a long time, Tesla is about to cut the umbilical cord with China, at least when it comes to batteries. For years, Elon Musk's company has relied heavily on LFP batteries manufactured by giants like KTL and BYD, key to the success of the Model 3 and Model Y around the world. But now, a new generation of cells is emerging, the 4680 Gen 2, developed entirely in-house. This new battery is beginning production in the United States and soon in Mexico. And this isn't just a technical advancement, it's a masterful geopolitical move. This move by Tesla didn't happen by chance. In fact, it's been in the works for years as a response to the increasingly turbulent US-China relationship. On one side, tariffs, embargoes, trade tensions, and technological disputes. On the other, the growing need to ensure strategic independence over critical components, such as lithium and the batteries that use it. Tesla, aware that its global expansion would depend on something more solid than shaky alliances, decided to do what few companies have dared, build its own solution from ore to final cell. And the most curious thing, this may end up being cheaper and faster than relying on third parties. Of course, cutting off Chinese suppliers is no easy task, especially when it comes to KTL the world leader in electric vehicle battery volume. But Tesla decided to start where it would have the most control, its own production line. By internalizing the 4680 Gen 2 manufacturing process, the company gains something precious. Eligibility for the $7,500 tax credit offered by the United States government. This is because, according to the law, only vehicles with components produced on American soil can receive the full incentive. In other words, the change is not just technical, it also has a direct impact on the car's final price. And speaking of price, this is where everything comes together. The new Tesla Model 2, expected to cost under $25,000 before incentives, could hit the market with a real price between $10,000 and $12,000 in some US states. This is thanks precisely to the new domestic battery. For the average consumer, this means an affordable electric car with decent range, cutting-edge technology, and a price that doesn't seem out of this world. For competitors, especially the Chinese, it means a new level of competition. Now local, faster, more aggressive, and with robust incentives. By removing China from the equation, Tesla isn't just strengthening its supply chain, it's actually paving the way for a new production model, where every piece of the puzzle is designed to function in a closed, self-sufficient, and scalable ecosystem. And the most impressive thing is that this may be just the beginning. Because when a company stops relying on the world's largest battery supplier and starts manufacturing its own solution with competitive results, the entire market begins to tremble. The question now is no longer with Tesla will be able to maintain this independence. The question is, who else will be able to keep up with this pace? What few people realize at first glance is that Tesla's big breakthrough with the 4680 Gen 2 battery isn't just the fact that it's made in the US. The real difference lies in completely redesigned design of this cell, which is now shorter, 10 millimeters shorter than the Gen 1 to be exact. It may seem like an insignificant detail, but this small change has a direct impact on the battery's thermal efficiency, structural performance, and even durability. Instead of trying to store as much energy per cell as possible, as was done before, Tesla chose to sacrifice some internal volume to gain something much more valuable, stability under pressure, heat, and time. With the reduced height, the path taken by the electric current within the cell also decreases. This means less internal resistance, less heating during fast charging, and much more uniform thermal control. It's like replacing a long wire with a shortcut. The energy arrives faster without losing power along the way. Furthermore, with less height, the risk of hot spots forming, 
which accelerate battery wear, is drastically reduced. The result is a cell that can withstand more stress, respond better in extreme situations, and maintain its integrity over thousands of use cycles. But the big leap is not just inside the cell, but the way it fits in the car. With the Gen 2 architecture, the battery is no longer just a piece fitted under the vehicle's floor, but rather a part of the structure of the car itself. This eliminates metal boxes, brackets, screws, and all the other hardware that used to simply secure the system. The cell now integrates directly into the chassis, functioning as a structural element that gives the vehicle rigidity and shape. This not only reduces weight by up to 30%, but also improves crash safety because the impact energy is distributed throughout the entire base of the car, like a spinal column absorbing the impact. This new approach also has a direct impact on the assembly line. With no modules, no intermediate boxes, and fewer components to fit together, the production time for a battery pack has dropped tolas than 10 minutes. This means factories can produce three times as many units in the same amount of time, crucial to scaling the Model 2 and reaching the goal of millions of units per year. It's a revolution not only in the final product, but in the entire industrial process. Fewer parts, more efficiency, less weight, more safety. A rare balance to achieve in any automotive project. Amidst all this, the thermal factor is still being handled more intelligently. Tesla has abandoned the old side cooling system and is now betting on a combination that includes vapor spreading layers, thermal stickers and cooling channels embedded directly below the cells. This new solution allows for precise temperature control even in extreme conditions, such as 20 degree heat in winter or over 40 degree in summer. Thermal uniformity ensures stable performance and slow wear, which extends battery life and keeps the car delivering the same performance for much longer. This is truly a design that considers the whole, from the cell to the road. With its structural foundation completely redesigned, Tesla decided the Model 2 wouldn't just be an affordable car, it would be a game changer. And that's no exaggeration. While most automakers are still trying to adapt older platforms to accommodate modern batteries, Tesla has gone the other way, designed the car around the battery, making it the focal point of engineering. This allowed for a drastic reduction in the number of components. Just to give you an idea, while the Model 3 has around 10,000 individual parts, the Model 2 is expected to operate with somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000. Fewer parts mean fewer failures, less assembly time, and, of course, lower costs for the consumer. The Model 2 assembly is scheduled to happen in record time. The goal is to assemble an entire car in less than 10 hours, a feat that would leave even Japanese production lines speechless. The secret lies in integration. By transforming the battery into a structural part, Tesla eliminates the need for dozens of support elements, bolts, crossbars, rails, everything that previously took up space and time. The process becomes almost like assembling a giant Lego set, only with cutting-edge engineering. And this opens a new path for the mass production of affordable EVs, a territory no one has yet managed to master. But it's not just the factory that benefits. The consumer also feels the difference, literally. The new structure's lightness, combined with an optimized aerodynamic design, promises to deliver up to 300 miles of autonomy with a moderately sized battery. This is because the car uses less energy to move as it weighs less and faces less air resistance. And because the battery heats up less and wears out more slowly, performance remains stable for much longer. Degradation is expected to remain below 10% even after 200,000 miles, a number that places this battery among the most durable ever designed. Another interesting point is the use of interior space. Since the car's floor is now flat and there's no need to hide a separate battery box, there's more space where it was previously impossible to move. Internal studies indicate that the Model 2 could have up to 15% more usable volume inside the cabin, even though it's a compact hatchback on the outside. This translates into more legroom, better ergonomics, 
and plenty of comfort for passengers. The feeling will be like driving a premium car, even if you're paying for an entry-level model. It's the kind of thing that changes the day-to-day -day experience. And if all this already seems bold, there's one more detail. The car's structural rigidity has increased by up to 20% thanks to the fusion of the battery and the body. This means more precise handling, more comfortable cornering, and superior crash safety. It's as if Tesla has managed to combine the lightness of a compact car with the robustness of an SUV, a rare combination. And best of all, without relying on gimmicks or appearances, but with pure, applied engineering. This car isn't just trying to be cheaper, it's trying to be better at everything that matters, and with less. While Tesla perfected every detail of the Model 2, BYD watched from the sidelines as its American competitor moved forward. After all, until recently, the Chinese giant seemed unbeatable in the affordable electric vehicle segment. The Seagull model, for example, conquered China with an almost unrealistic price tag, around $11,000. With its reliable LFP battery and large-scale manufacturing, BYD has established itself as a leading player in the sector. But outside China, things are different, and the landscape is changing rapidly. What seemed like a global advantage is now beginning to turn into a structural disadvantage in the face of the new reality imposed by trade policies and local requirements. One of the main obstacles BYD faces is the regulatory environment in the United States. New import tariffs on vehicles from China amount to 27,5%, which significantly increases the cost of any attempt to enter the American market. And it doesn't stop there. The Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, excludes from tax incentives all cars containing batteries or components produced in China. In other words, while Tesla can sell the Model 2 with the $7,500 credit, BYD models are simply excluded from the benefit, immediately becoming less competitive for American consumers. Even with BYD considering opening a factory in Mexico to circumvent these barriers, the truth is that it's still a few steps behind Tesla. The factory doesn't exist yet, and when and if it's completed, Tesla will already have consolidated its local production in the US and Mexico. This means the Model 2 will reach the market already qualified for all incentives, with a well-established production chain and a strategically located supply base. BYD, in turn, would have to play catch-up while dealing with logistical, bureaucratic, and diplomatic issues in a territory where it isn't fully present. Another factor that weighs in this comparison is the battery technology itself. BYD's famous blade battery, while safe and durable, still relies on a heavy external structure, an aluminum body that adds weight and limits design possibilities. Tesla's 4680 Gen 2 eliminates this body completely, fusing it with the car's chassis. This saves hundreds of pounds per vehicle and frees up interior space. The result? The Tesla Model 2 is lighter, more efficient, more spacious, and still delivers comparable or superior performance while costing the same or even less with the tax incentives applied. And this is where the dispute shifts. The issue is no longer just the sticker price. It's what comes with the car. Access to the Tesla ecosystem, software updates, autopilot, a supercharger network, and full integration with the brand's system. While the BYD Seagull is essentially a good, affordable electric car, the Model 2 aims to be a complete technological product, locally manufactured, ready for global scale, and designed to serve everyone from the average user to entire fleets. If Tesla executes this plan as expected, it could redefine not only the category standard, but also the winning ways of this electric vehicle war. With all these changes in play, it's clear that the Model 2 isn't just coming to compete on price. It represents something much bigger a paradigm shift in how electric vehicles are designed, manufactured, and delivered. Tesla is truly trying to usher in a new era of electric mobility, and not just in rhetoric. By combining local production, functional design, and intelligent integration, 
The Model 2 could end up becoming the most relevant model in the company's history. And all this with a curious detail. It hasn't even officially hit the market yet, but it's already shaping global strategies, impacting competitors, and rewriting what we understand as an affordable car. This new moment for Tesla is a direct reflection of the strategy Elon Musk has been developing for years. The goal has never been just to sell cars, but create a complete and closed system of sustainable, scalable, and technologically advanced transportation. The Model 2 is the missing link in this chain, the piece that allows for massive volumes without sacrificing efficiency, and this changes the game completely. What was once seen as a challenge, producing cheaply on a large scale and with quality, now begins to seem possible. And more than that, it seems inevitable. Because the Model 2 was designed for the future, but adapted to function in the present. When you look behind the scenes at manufacturing, you can see how big a gamble Tesla is taking. Localized production guarantees access to incentives, yes, but it also reduces risks related to supply chains, geopolitical disruptions, and currency fluctuations. Furthermore, the company is increasingly self-sufficient. From lithium mined on American soil to cells assembled within Giga Texas itself. It's as if Tesla is creating a vertical ecosystem where almost everything is done in-house with fewer intermediaries, more control, and faster response times. This not only protects the company against external crises, but also accelerates continuous innovation. And speaking of innovation, it's worth remembering that the Model 2 is being built with a new philosophy based on simplicity and modularity. The reduced number of parts, optimized assembly, and the use of structural batteries indicate that Tesla is more interested in scaling solutions than in performing one-off miracles. It's an industrial mindset, but with a long-term vision. And that's the most interesting part. The car may cost little, but the engineering behind it is elite. Tesla isn't trying to cheapen technology. It's reinventing how to apply it, so it works at scale, and without compromising quality, safety, or performance. So, the Model 2 isn't just another launch, it's a milestone. It represents Tesla's transition from an innovation-focused company to a mass production giant, a sort of 21st century Ford, but with software, artificial intelligence, cloud updates, and autonomy. And all of this based on a simple premise, making electric cars accessible to anyone, anywhere in the world, without relying on anyone. If this plan pans out, Tesla could not only win the electric car wars, it could completely change the rules of the game. And the curious thing is that it all started with a 70 millimeter battery.